Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to the Vintage Story Guide. We are back in the world after having spent a very, very long time putting together the rest of the details for the restaurant, or Lupine Lodge, as we named it last episode. And I am super happy with how the exterior and the interior came out. In case you missed it, go check out the episode. There was a ton of changes made, not the least being these giant copper stills. At the end of last episode, I did say that I wanted to focus a bit more on our interior of our house, do some sort of small time extra detailed builds. But to do that, we're going to have to look farther afield because there are some decorations that I want that we don't have. You see, we found a couple of these paintings and part of a tapestry, and we have found one whole tapestry Right up here, this one's called Morning, I believe. Yes, The Morning. But that's all we have. And while we can get some of the tapestries from ruins, there are others, and there's some overlap, that we can buy from artisan traders. And to that end, today, I want to go out on a bit of an adventure and head out to all of our nearby artisan traders that I have marked here in Cyan. Well, actually, the campaign cartographer has marked in cyan. And we have, well, a whole bunch of them actually very close by to us. So I think today is a good chance to go and get some of those, bring them back, hang them, and as an added bonus, we can get some more lore out of it. So today's going to be a bit about art collection and a bit about history. And that's what we're going to do. But before we leave, there are a couple things I want to tend to. And that is that a couple of you have noticed that well, we've all noticed that this guy isn't growing very tall. And so some of you have suggested that it might be good to take down these pine trees in case they are keeping it from spreading either upward or outward. I don't think that's how trees grow, but I could be wrong, so I'm going to take your advice and we'll give it a whirl. And what I'll do is I'm going to just set down some of these pine fences right in the tree's place like that, and anywhere that I have a light originally on the tree, I will put it on the fence instead. There we go. It's looking kind of sad and empty again, but if it's what it takes, then it's what it takes. So, with that done, and that weird snowstrap on the roof, let's get on to the second thing I wanted to touch on, which is that we forgot to move these fruit presses from our basement into the distillery's basement. So I think we should go ahead and just do that now. That was weird. And that should give us actually a bit of a refund on some of the barrels we invested here because we moved the ones from our basement over to here and I haven't replaced them yet. So let's put this bucket over here for now. And I'm going to take up this barrel and then move this one over to here. And then I should be able to take these guys down. Yep. Oh, and we'll have to come back with a chisel for this one. But we can then drop these right here. And aside from this, we'll call it a day. When we can even put these buckets under here preemptively. And boy, these ladders are annoying. They kind of make it floaty to walk around in here, and you really can't crouch very well. But I can fly. And you go there, and there, and there, and we'll steal you. I guess I won't. You can go there, and I think I have one more extra barrel we never use. Ah, here we go, out here. There, mostly good. Now, these tapestries and things, they're not free. They cost money. So to that end, I've been preparing some bread to go and sell to our treasure hunter and survival goods traders. And in return, I'm also going to buy some of the cheaper loot vessels that we can sell back to the commodities merchant at a decent profit. I'm also bringing along a few bows that we can also sell to those same people. A wooden chest to either bring all of our sales goods or to bring back some of the tapestries in. And I've also gotten rid of most of the extraneous stuff from our inventory. The flint isn't here, the sticks aren't here, and normally I wouldn't advise running around without them, but 
We have solid tools of all types, even if they are down to almost nubs, but we don't really need them very often. The only time I really use sticks and flint anymore together is when I'm making spears for temporal storms and sticks I need when I'm making tools, but we're not going to be home. Won't be making tools. So, that being said, I think we are ready to go out on our adventure. I'm bringing along two full crocks of food. I'm also going to go to sleep because it's five in the evening and we do not adventure at night right now. Well, I'd like to avoid it. Oh, we need a bed too. And we'll bring an aged wooden bed since we'll need to sleep through the longer nights. There we go. Now we're ready. Good night. And good morning, everyone. It is time for us to set off. I'm bringing along all of our gears, get everything that I mentioned earlier, and there's one last thing we need to do before we go. And that is, I am currently grinding up a whole bunch of flour, or grain into flour, to replenish all the flour I just spent making bread. So, I'm just going to disconnect this right there. We don't need it, we're not gonna be here. It can twist in the wind, literally. And let's get our bread, and let's be off. Oh boy, I forgot how much fun it is running through the snow in winter. Okay, our first stop is going to be at our good buddy here, and I'm probably going to need to actually pack this onto our back right away. Hello, Rachi, how are you doing? So he has, he has part of Nightfall, okay. I can buy that from you. Let's go ahead and we'll buy the center third of Nightfall, but he doesn't have any others. That's okay. Thank you, buddy. Take care. And we'll go ahead and drop this in here, and sadly, we're going to already be walking more slowly. I think our next stop is going to be at our first treasure hunter trader so that we can unload, hopefully, enough of this bread to free up our back a little bit. The move speed penalty for chests is pretty hefty. Hey, look. It's Large Mountain. Put a thumbs up in the comments if you remember that place. And we are already here. It always feels much longer than it really is. Oh, hey, buddy. What do you have for us? Or rather, what do you want from us? Oh, you're not buying a whole lot at all, are you? Buying a recurve bow for not a ton of money, but I'll take it. And you want spelt bread. You want four spelt bread. All right. I'll take it. Well, I'm not here to pick any of this stuff up, but I am here to... Ooh, pick up... Yes, I will take these. This is a great deal. This is about as cheap as they come. So I'm going to grab these. And I guess just carry them on our backs for now. And our next goal is going to be, I think... Temper, the artisan over here. We'll kind of swing up and around. We'll probably skip the furniture traders and kind of make a loop up to the original translocator and maybe even go to the other side. I think there are some artisans over there. Anyway, let's head out and I'll meet you over at Temper's place. Ooh. Let's, um, maybe let's not. Let's just not do that be very unfortunate. Okay, we're getting close to Temper's place, but this is just a nice little sort of plains with interesting rock formations. If I hadn't wanted to build on the ridge, this could have been an interesting place to build for a much larger, flatter area to build on. Hey, there's our buddy Temper. Well, his cart, at any rate. Oh, but I hear him. He's having a good day. Hello, Temper. Hope you have a good Temper. What have you got for us? You have Salvation. Ooh, Nightfall. Okay. And Seraphim. And that's right third. For Seraphim and bottom left quarter for Salvation. Okay. Those are kind of pricey, but I'll take one of each. Woo! Oh, boy. I'm not sure I can hold them all. I can't, okay? Good to know. Maybe we'll put some of our bread in here too, just because it won't spoil as fast. 
just in case we're out here for a longer time than I thought we would be. Let's load these up, and then we'll be off. What's his name? Eric. Eric the Artisan. Okay. Let's go say hi to Eric, and maybe we'll stop by at the OG house, just for a bit of a rest, although it's it's dark, but it's not very late yet. I'll see you at Eric's place. We're not far from Tempers yet, but this is sort of an interesting sort of highlands area where if we'd wanted to build on a much higher elevation and also a much less, I say much lumpier area, like where we could have like a, I don't know, a windmill on the side of the hill and have our roads kind of go through the valleys, that could have been an interesting option. I hadn't seen this place yet and I hadn't really thought of the idea, but things to think about for future build locations and so on, or inspiration for your own builds. Oh my. Not much inspiration there. Here is Eric's place. Eric, you need a lantern. Hello, Eric. What have you got for us? You have Salvation bottom right corner. I think we just bought that. At the same... Are you colluding? Are you fixing prices, sir or madam? Are you colluding in a monopoly? I don't like that. I am telling the authorities, and I don't know who I'd tell, actually. Who... Who are the authorities? Do you know? Oh, whatever. Gonna eat something. I'm not too badly cold just yet. We're going to see if we can make it back to the OG house and sleep there. And I'll see you there. Ah, there we go. The OG house awaits. And we are safely inside. All right. I don't think there's anything else here that we need. Nothing. Okay, well, I'm going to sleep. And we will set off again in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I have been looking at the map here. And our next stop is going to be Shem at the Survival Goods Supplier. Once we stop there, I kind of want to make a pit stop up here. I was looking around the map and I recognized these sort of very equally spaced white dots. And I think this might be another one of those ancient pillars ruins. So that could be worth checking out. Once we've been to there and seen what there is to see, I think we'll head down to Farhad the Artisan and then over to Axe the Survival Goods Supplier and then through our translocator and see what is on the other side. Oh, right, we have this guy up here too, so we'll stop here as well. Maybe we'll go up to here, and then down. X might come later. We'll see. Anyway, it is light enough to go out, even though it is a medium rift day, so off we go. Okay, we are approaching... What's the name? Farhad, I think? Shem. Sorry, this is Shem. There's a problem in the way, Shem. I'm just going to do a bit of this, and we'll just skirt around you guys. And what are you buying today, Shem? You'll buy flax bread and rye bread. Oh, and rice bread. Cool. All right. Well, let me get some of that out for you, and we can do some business. Shem, you and I are in business. Thank you. Thank you very much. You are funding my archaeological, anthropological research. Why to you too, sir? Or ma'am? What's the gender neutral sir ma'am option? Is it just sir? Like S-E-R? I don't know. Let's put our bread back in here. We're actually running kind of low, which isn't a bad thing, honestly. It means we're doing business. Okay, next is... We'll hit these ruins. We'll hit Innis. And then we'll head south to Farad. I'll see you there. Oh, and you may have noticed I did stop to find some more apple trees and a pear tree. So I grabbed some cuttings because we are very low on tree cuttings up at the estate. With the Perlin noise generator that's used to make landscapes, you get some really weird 
formations like this. This sort of strange cutout right here. And a little path leading to it. Could be interesting to like glass it in and make like a little arcology in here or something. Very neat stuff. Very weird, but neat. Another one with a little sort of natural land bridge or arch. Wow, that could be very cool to build in. And it leads out into this. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, hey, there they are. I didn't realize it was so close. That uh, yellow icon is really hard to see on the map. Oh, and I think this might be a different one. Look, I have not seen this. Oh, maybe I have. Get out of the way. Okay, looks like a pretty standard one after all. I thought there was something quirky, but I just haven't seen them kind of cocked like this, though. Okay, that is definitely weird. Okay. Well, I'm going to throw you out. Throw you out. Goodbye. And let's get digging. Ah, I got the fabled tool vessel. What do we got here? Ooh. Oh, boy. A flint axe and a flint knife. Wow. We can retire. Get. Get. Alright, this is ours. I will make room in my inventory for this stuff. You know what? I guess it will take the bunny soil. We have, like, three stacks at home, but more is always welcome. And if we have to dump it... Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Um, consider my curiosity peaked. Consider my curiosity at its end. Hello, friendo. Do you have to? Okay. Yeah, that's about where my curiosity stops. Here as well, I think. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Interesting and spooky. Did not expect to be, you know, dropping down here, but uh, good to know it's here. That's interesting. I like it. Okay, tear down and move on. Ooh. Got some rally boys. Hello, Innis. What are you buying today? Oh, you're buying a longbow and a recurve bow. The longbow is your better deal. And we have a couple more treasure hunters to stop it, so I'm going to take that and leave the recurve bow. This is a really bad price for that. Pretty sure it's the minimum, actually. But you are buying four spelt bread and five rice bread. Well, I think I can fill that spelt bread order. The rice bread I'm getting kind of low on, to be honest. You get... Yes, yes, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. You get most of what you want. There you go. Thank you, too. Ooh, you're selling a broken cuirass for 22 gears. Oh, and you're selling... Yes, right, we need these. Farming, ore, and tool. Okay. I'll tell you what. Maybe we'll take that recurve bow. Offer. Hey, 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 don't... Don't rush me. I'm looking. All right. And, okay, we're looking a little low on gears at the moment. We'll need to stop at a commodities merchant to offload some of these, but these are being bought at pretty good prices. Where do I buy those? We have 50 left? That's fine. Okay, I'll take them. You too. Have a good day, sir or madam. And we are going to load these up in here. These are an investment, that's for sure. And let's be off. I think we'll spend the night at our little hut, right by the translocator, and then we'll spread out from there come dawn. And it is morning, I mean, barely, but it is, and it is calm, so I am going to head out a bit early to get a head start on the day. And we are going to go to the survival goods merchant over here. I forget what his name was. Hello, chickies. Yeah, that's right. Cluck off. Hello, Axe. You are buying... Man, everybody wants rice bread. Well, I can do flax bread. That's easy to do. 
And you're selling a bow. A bad one. You're not buying any. That's okay. Alright, so you want five flax bread. It's going to be 40. Alright, Axe, it is your lucky day. And also mine, because I want the money. And you want the bread. Thank you very much. Alright, off we go. I'm going to visit the neighbor artisan. Farhead, finally. Keep talking about him. And then we will head through our transicator. Farhead, what do you have for us today? Ah, there you are. Hello. You have some of salvation. Okay. In the morning. So we just need these two, and they're at a better price. Top left, bottom left. I think we have bottom right, but let's go check. Ah, we have bottom left. Okay, so we need just the one from you today. We need top left, okay? We'll buy it. Why not? Yep, yep. Don't like that too much. Let's go ahead and drop you in there. And we are going to hightail back to the transicator and head on through. Although, there is something. I did some off-screen exploration the other day during our last foray through the transicator here. And I said I wasn't recording at the time, but I also didn't check it out. I just saw a little bit of aged wood planks deep in the cave underneath the transicator here. So I'm thinking... If it's not too far, we could go check it out. I don't remember just how deep it is. I know it was sort of down a shaft and kind of like ha sticking out halfway down. So I think we could take a look. You know what? We could just head in right here. It's probably the easiest thing to do. Is there anything down this way? Ooh, I don't think it was there. I remember it being right near our entrance here. Oh, was this it? No, we've been here before. Oh, there's more gears. I'll take them. Grr. Yeah, I think it was down there. I am reasonably certain. Just gonna light you up. Yeah, here are the torches from our first exploration. I'm just gonna do a bit of this. Oh, hello, buddy. How would you like to just fall to your death? Thank you. Yeah, I think it was down there. Let me just go and light this up to avoid any further mishaps. Oh, really? So, let's give it a whirl. Is it down there? I guess I'll find out in a minute. I didn't bring our fancy ladders, but I brought our normal ones. I am pretty sure it was down here somewhere. Okay, let's fill that in. At least temporarily. Ooh. There's definitely a cave nearby, that's for sure. And then let's just head on down. Maybe this isn't the place. I think I'm somewhere else. Don't work oh, maybe it was down this far. It drops off again. Yeah, it might have been here, because I don't think it was quite this close to the surface, either. Oh, there it is! Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's check it out. Here we go. And I think, just for safety's sake, we will block that off. For the time being, and... Ooh, what do we have in here? We have an aged bed. Ooh, yes! This is one of the things I wanted to get today. And this... Oh! Well, it's a good thing that the uh, merchants didn't happen to have the bottom right of this one. Unfortunately, the rest of them are broken. Or rotted. So, we'll do that. Another bed we can leave somewhere. And this chest with vintage beef, some junky poultices, which I'm going to use one of, and a story scroll. We have some kind of diary. I think I'll hang on to this for now, unless we really need it. Or to get it out of our inventory. So we can at least see if we buy any others. If there are any that we need to particularly focus on. Anyway, this is a good find. I'm glad I noticed this earlier. And we are going to head back up 
and head on through our transicator. I will see you all on the other side. Okay, everyone, we are on the other side, and we're currently sitting in our way station. I think the route I want to take is going to be, I want to head over to Edel, or Edel, and then down to Aram, who's a commodities merchant, and see if we can't unload some of those loot vessels. And then we'll strike out north, ignoring Bedweir. We'll hit Temper number two, the artisan, and we'll hit Aoife, the artisan, and we'll also try to hit Jasper, the commodities merchant. And that way we should hit everybody on this side of the teleporter that we know of. And then we'll head back through. I will see you when we get to whatever that treasure hunter's name was. Wrong way. This way. Okay, I've been foraging a bit along the way. There are some berry bushes that were still in bloom, or fruiting. And I just got some turnips, so we can save on our cooked meals. Hello, Edel! Ooh, you have some scrolls too. Okay. Rice bread and spilt bread. I oh and rye. I'm not sure I have much of anything for you. But you do have some ooh, very cheap forage vessels, so let's see what we can do about that. Let's see, you want oh you want a rye. We got rye. Okay. Let's see one of those. You want spelt and rice. I think we're out of rice. And we have a bit of spelt left. Why not? All right, sell that. And then... I got some of these seeds. I guess I was a bad boy and picked some lupins, too. Shame on me. Hey, buddy, can you not? Right in my ear. All right, we're going to read this story. Oh, oh, we got letters part five of eight. Okay, so they're not all in books all the time. So you know what? Let's go ahead and buy one of these. We'll buy each one and use it and read it, and we'll stop when we get one that we can't read. So we got Blind Bet Rickert, part two of eight. And then we got part three of eight. Oh my. And then we got The Morning, part one of five. Oh, this is a new one. Okay. So these seem to be pretty random. And the morning part, two of five, okay. Wow, all right. Well, let's see, five forages for five. How many forages do we have? None, okay, I'll well, tell you what. I'll take all five. And we are heavily invested right now, but that's okay, because we should make all of this back when we go and visit our friend, Aram. So I will probably stay the night out here. And then I will catch up with all of you as we are approaching Aram. Well, hello, Aram. How are you? What are you buying? Food, ore, and tool vessels. And the tool vessel for a lot of money. All right, and you want three. Okay, well, I'll see what I have for you. Yeah, I'll see what I have for you. You have three gears now. I wanted to unload more on you, but I guess not. Okay, next stop is going to be Temper number two, and then Aphid, and then Jasper. I'll see you there. Oh, hey, look, we got some leaves. Oh, right, that means there's a fruit tree here. <gasps> Our very first peach tree. Well, that's interesting. I don't think you'll survive up by our house, but I'll take you. I'll take a few branches. Maybe we'll get to plant you at some point, but not up on Lupine Ridge. I think you'll just die there, even the greenhouse. But, thank you very much for your branches. Okay, and amidst this crazy thunderstorm, we are approaching our... Ooh, big flash. Approaching our friend... Alright, the one with the really weird parking job, apparently. Uh, hello, Temper number two. What have you got for us? The morning and salvation. <gasps> I think this is the top right corner we needed, isn't it? So we have bottom left, top left, and bottom right. So we need top right. Temper number two is our dude or dudette. Hey, hey, yes. Top right corner. All right. We'll buy you. 
You also have Seraphim right third. They got that, and the morning in the morning. Now, I know we already have one of Seraphim. Do we have the right third? Is the question. Yes, we do. Okay, it's unfortunate, but that's fine. And we'll carry you. Grab you, and I think we will just spend the night here. We'll make a little. And I will see you all in the morning, or I guess probably in the afternoon, as we're getting to Aphid the Artisan. Oh, shoot, we're here. I <laughs> almost ran out by it. My good friend Aphid. What do you have for us today? Nothing. Ooh, we do have Seraphim. Okay. Alright, I can do Seraphim. Left third, so we just need the center of Seraphim. Okay. I'm a little disappointed in your guys' selections. Onward and outward, I guess. And we have... If I can press the right button... 36 gears left. So, we are going to go, again, north to Jasper the Commodities. I might stop at Horus. I don't think he has anything I want. But I do want to see, just in case there is something I want. On the off chance. So, I will see you all then. Hey, how are you? Echo Chamber. Yeah, there isn't... I mean, I kind of want these, but... I don't... 8, 9, 10 gears want these. And there isn't anything I have that he wants to buy. Like I'd sell you that anyway. 14 gears, really? 14 gears for that much golden gems. Yeah, right. Alright, well, good seeing you, but, uh... Nothing happened today, just a social visit. Well, I'll catch back up with all of you when we are at our commodities merchant, Jasper. Now, wouldn't that mountain be a neat place to build something? I think I'd like it even more without this hill in front of us. But I think I'd like it even more if it had, like, a couple, like, nice sheer cliff faces. Oh, hey, a fruit tree. Pink apple. Not a ton of you, but I will always take more. Why not? We're about full up on those. Yeah, I think we're done collecting pink apple trees. We have some nice sheer cliffs. Would make this perfect. Cover it in trees and plants. Ooh, and like hanging farms. Hmm. Getting more ideas for our eventual deep south exploration and settlement. Like right there, cut some farms into the side of those. Hmm. Ideas generating. Ow. My knees. Hey, Jasper, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I want you to buy. You're buying food and tool. Okay. Food I don't have. And it's a bad price anyway, but tool. Tool, tool, tool. Oh, here we go. I've got four, to five, five tool. Okay. How many tool vessels do you want? You want four. Okay, I'll give you four. Whew. And you're almost out of gears now. Yeah, thank you too. Nice doing business. I think I'll leave you here, and I will just snooze here for the night. And I'll catch you all in the morning. <laughs> seashell. Seashell. No inventory, but seashell. No, go away, Snow. Now I can't see seashell. Well, I wasn't going to stop here, but it is, like, almost direct on the way home, so... Let's see what our builder friend has. Your, oh, your furniture, not builder. Okay. You want to buy glass, and you're selling mostly junk. Oh, but that's pretty cool. But my inventory is not. Um, I'm going to make some twine out of this. I'm going to repair a couple of you. Let's see. You, you, and you. Sure. I'm going to buy this painting from you, because it's kind of neat. Yeah. Nine gears. Probably waste of money, but hey, whatever. All in the name of good aesthetics. Okay, well, I think what we're going to do is we are going to head on through the translocator. And now that we're here, let's go and take a look at the map. We might want to actually head home, do a bit of inventory management, maybe grab some more meals, because I'm close to out of food. And then we'll head to the east... We'll hit, what's his name, Enrebos? Maybe we'll even hit Enrebos first, and then head home. And then we'll head south to Eric, 
and then we'll head through our translocator and we will hit at least a couple of the commodities merchants, one right here and then the one on the opposite side of this translocator. And so I'll meet you when we are at N. Repos's cart. Okay, now hear me out. This kind of land formation with these sort of tiers in a jungle. Would that be cool or what? I've heard there's another block game that someone named Corazar may or may not have ever played in their life, and they might love building in that exact kind of space in the other block game. Jungle Cliffs? Oh yes. Yes please. Sign me up. Gorgeous. You are a tough one to find. Why did you park all the way out here? Oh, don't, don't yell, I'm right here. I'm, I can hear you. Ooh, don't do that. Uh, there we go. The morning and salvation. Okay. Disappointment galore. Well, okay. I'm going to actually head back to home and drop off some of this stuff and head out with a fresh inventory. I think I might also just eat our bread. We have about two gears worth of bread on us right now. Not really worth taking up space. Anyway, I'll bring y'all back as we are heading back out on our journey. Okay, I lied. We're going to stop by this guy first. Because... He's kind of on the way, actually. Hey, guy, what do you want? Tool and food. Everybody wants food. Nobody wants ore today. Alright, alright. Don't get your beard in a bind. I have one tool vessel. Ah, great. I'll sell this to you. Take your ten gears. You don't have much anyway, do you? In the way of money. No, that's fine. And we'll just pack this up and head home. Because we are right over the hill here. Okay. A little late in the morning. But we are off. And I'm going to go and just see if we can sell some stuff to the commodities merchant up here. Through RTL. And I noticed that the guy down across the forest is about to refresh his wear. We have about a day and change to wait. So, I figure we can hit him on the way back from our last leg of this journey. Through we go. Hello. Ooh. You're buying a lot of stuff. Everybody wants tools and food. The farming isn't a great price. I'm not going to sell you those, but I will sell you the forge. We already have them on me. Alright, guy. Or gal. And you want one. You want one forage. All this way for one forage. I'll tell you what. Let's let's do that. How's that? I'll buy this parchment from you. Yeah, you need to, uh... Get with the market, man. Alright, off we go. Off to see our next artisan. And then back to our commodities trader. And then we'll stop back home and take a look at what we got hang up any tapestries, and, yeah, call it a day. An entire gravel desert full of that mysterious green stone. I think I can feel him watching me, just waiting. Waiting for me to slip up and say the name. It's terrible. This chill runs down my spine as I think about it. <sighs> Shivers. Oh, I think we're getting close. Get out of this cursed place. The specter of our doom breathing down my neck. Oh yeah, here he is. Hello, hello. Hello? Whoa. Do, <laughs> do you really have to, like, do that right in my ear? What do you have? You have the morning. Everyone has the morning. Oh, we have ambush finally. Ah, uh, something new. I guess I'm buying this and then going home. Yeah, sorry, man. Okay, well, let's head home. And I don't think it's been quite long enough to go to the commodities merchant. So we'll hold off on that one. But let's go home and take stock of what we found. And maybe hang a couple tapestries. And we are back home at last. Welcome back. In the chest right behind me, I have all the things that we have gathered on our journey so far today. Well, today. So far, part's over. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got, and 
We'll hang our tapestries. In the top row, I have the resources that we gathered. Got the seashell that I found, got all of these tree cuttings that I took, including the brand new peach tree, which I don't think we can plant here. And I got a couple flowers. I also fell in a hole and I found a bunch of Galena, so I got it since it was bountiful. And then down here we have the treasure that we found. We found some vintage beef, and we found these ancient stairs, pillars, and slabs. And we found also, in addition to that, a little bit of, I believe, a couple healing poultices that I already used, as well as some of the new journal entries that we will read in future episodes. And then down here, these two bottom rows are dedicated to the things that we've purchased today as far as the tapestries and artwork go for our house. We did buy a painting called Seraph, and that is a mighty fine set of armor, and if I could look that good in armor, then sweet, I'd love it. Next, we have Seraphim, a tapestry. We have the left third and the right third. We need the middle third. And I'll keep an eye out at our artisan traders. I was hoping that there would be more selection, but everybody had what Seraphim and Mourning, which we already have Mourning all three parts. We did get the center third of Ambush. We do not have either of the left or right thirds. And then we got the center and right thirds of Nightfall, and we still need the left third. We did, fortunately, get all of the parts of Salvation, and I think we should go ahead and put these together, and maybe even read the journal entry that comes of it. In addition to all that, we still have eight rye and flax bread each left over. I'm just going to eat those. We did buy one piece of parchment, or one stack of five, doesn't really count. And we do have an investment in some cracked vessels. So these actually represent about, what, about 100 gears worth of sales over the course of time as we can sort of get these to the commodities merchants when they have money. So we'll hang on to these and sell them as I have time, and these sort of act as a good way to bank some gears. We also have a recurve bow and a longbow we didn't end up selling. Uh, as I recall, we kept the second recurve bow because they wanted to pay six gears for it, and that was like a big note for me. Let's go ahead and pick these up, and you'll notice that the tapestry images are not accurate to their placement. So, just be aware. Let's go hang this now. Let's find a good place for it. I don't want to hang it in here, because this is going to be the book nook, because these will be bookshelves eventually. I don't want it, like, against a corner or anything, which kind of limits my placement, because this is a fairly crunched together house. Here's a spot. We could put it here. I don't think there's room in the bedroom. Well, unless we moved that. I could put it there, honestly. I don't want to put it here because I have plans for what's going here. It could go over here, but this is getting a bit crowded. I kind of like having a little bit of space here to let the rest of this breathe a bit. It's probably not going to fit. Well, it would fit here, but only barely. And I, again, I don't like that sort of placement. I could put it in our tower over here, but this isn't really a place we're going to hang out much, so I don't think over here is the place for it. I want this somewhere where we'll be able to see it pretty often. There is this right here, and this this is one-third of a tapestry, so that would either put it against this corner or against this window here if we finished it. So maybe I'll take this one down, and we'll find a different place for that. And I kind of like this going here. Let's do it. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and ears. So we found part 4 of 19 tapestry lore. Well, it's kind of late and it's kind of cold, so I don't think I want to go up to our mountain. Why don't we start preheating our little book nook area that I want to get to soon by sitting down here and having a very brief story time. Let's go ahead and we'll read the tapestry. It won't take long. So we got salvation. There was a turning at some point. A change in the air. The people began saying such things as, We may yet survive. Perhaps they started to sense it. The majesty of his work. The genius of his machine. Well, I don't know about you, but there were, what, 19 different tapestries? I bet they don't tell such a great story considering no one who told those stories is alive today. Grim. Anyway, everyone, that is about all we have time for in this episode of the Vintage Story Guide. 
I hope you enjoyed our foray once again out into the wider world and our visit with the traders and our search for the tapestries and their stories. Now that we're in the dead of winter, I think it's time to focus on some house projects that I've been putting off for a very long time. Look forward to those in the coming episodes. Also, a few weeks back, user the multiplane reached out in a 20 question submission about how to get some fan art to me. They did, posting in the official Vintage Story Discord server. I asked for permission to share it, and they acceded. So here it is. I think it captures the homey look and feel of Lupine Ridge perfectly. You could even see a little person waving under the bridge. Probably me, since no one else lives in this world. And they even let the redwood tree in the back grow to its full size and glory. I love it. Thank you so much, the multiplane. This is excellent. If you have any AMA style questions I can answer in a video like this one, drop them in a comment with the hashtag 20 questions. And if you play computer games and would like to support the channel, consider using my partner link next time you're shopping on the Humble Store, on screen now and in the description below. Anyway, as always, my name has been Corazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.